This is the one that I want to call your attention to. God will not chastise him in his justice. He shall not perish by an unprovided death. If he be just, he shall remain in the grace of God and become worthy of eternal life. So I want to call your attention to God will not chastise him in his justice. Although this promise was made by the Blessed Virgin Mary in the 1200s, it still rings true today. I want to call your attention to the message of Our Lady of Fatima. One, she, if you have not looking up the messages of Fatima, you just kind of like know the general outline. Mary appeared, sun in the sky, rolling around, miracle, uh, 7,000 witnesses. Okay, you need to go to EWTN or go to Google and look up the exact Fatima messages given by Our Lady. Um, we can talk about the background of that later, but I just want to call your attention to one thing about that. That Mary said that sin is the just, ta the just punishment. I mean, war is a just punishment for sin. So if war is a just punishment for sin, and she warned that if man did not repent and better their lives and pray the rosary and offer penance and reparation for the so many souls that were going to hell like snowflakes, then guess what was going to happen? World War II was going to break out. She predicted the time. She predicted the pontificate in which it would occur. And not only that, man did not repent. And so we had World War II. And what was the worst thing? The worst thing that we'll remember about World War II, besides the, the Holocaust, and what did the Americans do? We dropped two atomic bombs in Japan. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, killing uh, hundreds of thousands instantly with the flames. They just went like fire. The fire, like, it was like a wind of fire. Just whoosh. Remember if you've seen Terminator 2? And they dropped the bomb in uh, Terminator 2. And the kids are like playing by the fence and then they're playing on the swings. And all of a sudden, in a, in a flash of wave of heat, a wave of flames, everybody's dust. Everybody's gone. Well, that happened also in Japan. We Americans did that. And we are the ones who are to blame for all those deaths. Okay, but anyways, it's not me. It's the United Americans as a, as a country. So what is the point of this? They were some who were so near ground zero and they still did not die. And they did not even have to go to the hospital. They did not even suffer radiation. They were fine. Minor scrapes from glass breaking elsewhere. Wow, how did this happen? I'll tell you how it happened and, and they'll explain how too. Now right here, I've got the images. I've got pictures live that were taken. A helicopter was flying over, and I'm going to show those to you now. Because you'll hear this story many places. You've probably heard this story before, but you have not seen the images. I've got the images that witness and attest to that Mary is keeping her promises. No matter how long ago she made them, they're still applying today, and they are our hope now. All right, let's look. Okay, here we go. So if you look here, this is the uh, image of the blast. Okay, that's easy to see. Here is... Around ground zero. Whoa, look at all. Look, let's look. There's so much devastation. So much devastation. <gasps> Guess what? The only building standing is the Catholic Church. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, those are people right there. It's kind of blurry on my phone. Sorry. Those individuals were uh, Franciscan friar conventuals, and there were also some Jesuits who were present. Now, these Jesuits and these Franciscans, they attributed their salvation to the same exact source. The Franciscans said that they prayed the rosary in front of the Blessed Sacrament every day, and that is why they feel that they survived the blast. And then the Jesuits, they asked them, why do you think you're still alive? And they said, because we are living the Fatima message. We're praying the rosary every day. We're not messing around. The lady said from heaven, the lady appeared, in, and she says, oh, you should pray the rosary every day. You know, war is going to happen. This is going to be chastisement. And what, what do we say? We say, it's not, it's not required for our belief. It's, you know, the church approved it, yes, but that's not required for me to believe it. Okay, the church is saying, look, this really happened. The Blessed Mother did appear and say these things. What are you, an idiot? Listen to the woman, all right? Okay, so these guys lived. Even though they, did you see all that dust? They were like, the bombs hit, and they're like, what's going on? Oh. And then they go outside, everything's dust, and they're like looking at themselves. Whoa, amazing. So obviously the helicopter's flying over, assessing the damages, and that image was taken. Now, I want to draw your attention to another problem. In, and this is, will give you more, uh, you know, mm -hmm. credibility to the Blessed Mother. She appeared in 1982 in Rwanda. She warned these children, saying the same exact message of Fatima, basically. Repent. Convince people to pray the rosary. Go back to God. If souls don't do this, it's going to be terrible. And this is exactly what she said. And guess what happened? They did not do it. And what happened? Terrible, terrible. Millions, millions this time, a million people were murdered. Let me, uh, we'll look at the images of your weak stomach, don't look. All right. So as you see here, look at all these skulls. The Blessed Mother warned, I'll let you look. On August 19th, 1882, the seers saw a river of blood 
Oh my gosh, so terrible. People who are killing each other, abandoned corpses with no one to bury them, a tree all in flames, bodies without their heads. Look, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's really absolutely disgusting. And the Blessed Mother said to these young children, she says, look, I, when I tell you this, I'm not addressing myself just to you children. I'm making the appeal to the world. The people are on the edge of catastrophe. They did not repent. They did not pray the rosary. They did not take it seriously. And what happened? Murder. Death. Now, I'm not doing this to scare you. You know, actually I am doing this to inform you, but not because I want you to be afraid. Although you should be, uh, have fear of the Lord only because we have God on our side. We have the Eucharist on our side. And He can make all of our enemies disappear. Or all of our enemies can be converted in a heartbeat, in a flash. I've seen it happen. Where somebody was there so blind. And one second later, within a second, it's like the Holy Spirit uh, lifted a veil and they could see reality for what it really was. Amazing. Alright, so don't be afraid. Although you should have a little bit of fear of the Lord and fear of offending Him and fear that He is so upset. Alright, what's the next thing? Our Lady appeared in Akita, Japan. And this is what she says. As I and this is approved also. And when this was revealed, uh, when they first got this message, Karma Ratzinger, he, what did he say? He said, this is a continuation of the Fatima message. Before Pope John Paul II revealed the third Fatima message, which he said, this is the third Fatima, and he read part of it, and then he uh, read a little bit more in the homily that most people didn't pick up on. The, the, the two were attached. So that when people ask, was the Fatima message revealed? He can easily say, yes, it was revealed. Just, I just told you that this was part of it, and I did not reveal the rest of it until the homily, even though I didn't tell you that I was revealing the rest of it. Anyways, you should go look up the homily that Pope John Paul II gave. You'll be very interested, because it talks about the dragons using his tail to swipe out a third of the stars in the sky. Uh, you know, the stars in the sky are, by the early church, they're represented as the church hierarchy. All right. So anyways, I'm going to continue. As I told you, if men do not repent and better themselves, the Father will inflict a terrible punishment on all humanity. It will be a punishment greater than the deluge, such as one will never have seen before. Fire will fall from the sky and wipe out a great part of humanity, the good as well as the bad, sparing neither priests nor faithful. The survivors will find themselves so desolate that they will envy the dead. The only arms which will remain for you will be the rosary and the sign left by my son. Each day recite the prayers of the rosary. With the rosary, pray for the pope, the bishops, and the priests. Do it. What do you think this fire from the sky will be? Maybe it will be like at Fatima, except this time the sun will not be prevented from hitting the earth by the angel. Or maybe it will be an atomic bomb. Can you imagine? We live in such a time where so many corrupt politicians, so many corrupt world leaders, that if one world power were to get into a major conflict with another, bombs, bombs everywhere, we'd all be dead. One after another, we'd all be in fire and just fall from the sky, just as before. The work of the devil will infiltrate even into the church in such a way that one will see cardinals opposing cardinals, bishops against bishops. The priests who venerate me will be scorned and opposed by their fellow priests. Churches and altars will be sacked. The church will be full of those who accept compromises. And the demon will press many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service of the Lord. The demon will be especially implicable against souls consecrated to God. The thought of so many souls is the cause of my sadness. If sins increase in number and in gravity, there will no longer be pardon for them. With courage, speak out. You still have something to ask? Today is the last time I will speak to you in living voice. And when did she give this message? October 13th, the anniversary of the apparitions of Fatima. <gasps> Take it seriously, peeps. All right, but don't forget, our rosary is our last weapon. Our rosary will help us be more disposed to offer Jesus in the, in the Mass more uh, meritoriously through ourselves. We'll receive more grace. Our efficacious reception of communion will be boosted. We can offer that sacrifice unto the Lord with even greater reverence and greater love and we'll be so holy and we'll convert the world. All right, the rosary will save the world with the brown scapulars what Our Lady told St. Dominic. So I'm going to keep going. I know you're probably tired of hearing about the rosary, but I've got more and more and more and more and more. All right, God bless you. God love you. Peace be with you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary, help the Christians pray for us.